Hey ho, hey ho. Did you know Halo and Gears of War and Call of Duty were all bought out by Capcom and put into one game? It's a crossover. It's a crossover. Yeah, yeah. Turn up. Turn up. Turn up. Turn up. Wait. Oh, it's just another Resident Evil game. Just reskinned to look like Call of Duty, and they call it a tactical shooter. And it's every FPS game on planet Earth. Oh. Capcom, do you know how many IPs are looking for a new release? I mean, did you really have to take Resident Evil and say, ah, oh, forget about survival horror, make it everybody's favorite tactical shooter clone and push it out to the mass? I mean, did you really? I mean, don't get me wrong. Capcom, if you want to keep polishing this turd that you've turned Resident Evil up to, if you want to keep polishing it, rubbing it up nice, spraying it with Febreze, hoping that we don't smell the shit that it is, and you just want to keep throwing it at us, then by all means, continue to do so. You've been doing the same thing with Street Fighter for who knows how long. Since, like, what, 2007? Eight years? So if you want to keep doing this, by all means, people are going to buy into it. Throw in all the DLC that you're going to have packaged with it. By all means, just, just go ahead. Don't even mind me, actually. I'm, I don't even need to film, film this video. I can just leave. I can just go off, have fun time with myself. If you want to make a masturbation joke, go right, go right ahead. I don't even care at this point. Capcom, I mean, are we real? Are we for real? Are we for real? Now, this was revealed a few hours ago at the Tokyo Game Show, and we all knew that Resident Evil was going to come to the forefront like it always does. Whether you come out with true survival horror with Resident Evil Revelations, whether you want to turn it into an action game when it's the new Resident Evil 6, which will eventually be Resident Evil or Biohazard 7. But now we have generic Call of Duty Clone 5 mixed with a little bit of Gears and more. Now, does the game in itself look interesting? It looks like everything that we've already seen. The only interesting thing that I could see out of that trailer was, you can use the zombies as a shield. But let's be fairly honest here, people. How many times have we been able to use human or enemy shields throughout history of gaming? I mean, it's not like it's a unique feature. It's not something that's super creative. And I like how the trailer tried to make tactical vantage points, like a selling point. Like you've never seen the ability to be, oh my God. Oh my God, there's an enemy. Oh. Luckily, there's barriers here. Let me crouch behind it. Apparently, that's 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 a new mechanic that has never been in a shooter, ever. That's a, that's not, I'm talking to you, Gears. I'm talking to you. It's never happened. Because of that trailer, man. Who tactical advantages and ducking behind cover and suppression fire. These are all new video game mechanics never before seen. Ever. You're saying you saw it in another game? No, you haven't. No, you haven't. Oh, man, you must be an insomniac or you must not be getting all that sleep, bro. You must be trying to shake out the cobwebs, man. I'm telling you, you never seen it before in the history of anything. Hell, you haven't even seen it in the movies. People just coming out dumping on fools. No cover. That's every movie. It's, it's something that you've never seen. This is, this is new technology we're talking about here, bro. Then they tried to come up with, like, it said regular shield. Like, you've never had a shield in a shooter before. I mean, never in advanced warfare. No, no, not at all. Hell, even Blacklight Retribution had this stuff going on. And <laughs> that's a free-to-play game. Wow. Wow. I, wow. I guess um, that eSports money and that MLG money is looking pretty good to Capcom right now. And that is why they're coming down this road. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell, talk about the story elements because, like I said, they didn't reveal any of that. Could the story be good? Who knows? As we all know, Resident Evil story has been slipping on a downward slope for the past six years. So I can't sit here and tell you that I know the future. But if I had to be a betting man, I'm not feeling this game having any longevity post a year and a half. Year and a half after this game's dead. Like This game probably won't get any more support. I'm sure they'll be trying to milk the DLC out of it as quickly and as fast and as often as they can. Because that is just Capcom's MO at this point. Now, as far as the trailer and the graphics and things of that nature, I know it's an early build. I know it's probably even pre-alpha stages, and they're just getting it to show it off. But it does say it's going to be released 2016. That could be early 2016. That could be the later portion of 2016. Who knows? Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. I'm leaning towards Q3, Q4, but it could be early. And if it's earlier, then I have to come out and say this. 
Why does your game just look like a super polished game made in, made in Unity? Unity. Yeah, you know that thing that indie game people make? You know the games that are 9 times out of 10 producing something that is just on par with Slender? The Arrival? Yeah. Yeah. You're Capcom. You know, one of those quote-unquote big-budget AAA heavy hitters studios? You know, one of those studios? Now you're coming out with some pretty weak animation. I'm just saying I know it's pre-alpha, so I'm not going to push that too hard into my quote-unquote journalistic narrative. But the fact of the matter is this. It looks like generic shit. Yes, Capcom fanboys, get, get, you might as well get that Vaseline. You might as well get that petroleum jelly. You better get some lubricant because I understand right now you're going to be crying a lot. You're going to be having irritated eyes as I say this. I want to get that visine, but I am going to say this. This game looks like a crock of shit that is way too late to the zombie apocalypse party that Resident Evil supposedly had started. How you late to your own party, Capcom? How? How? It's whatever. Hope you, hopefully you enjoyed this doubleheader of videos. This will be the second one that's uploaded. Y'all have a good one. I'm out. And boy, is it cold outside. And I love it.